Day one is about struggling journalist John Hawk, who is after the story that he thinks is going to revive his career. And he's trapped in New York when someone or something attacks the city. The bridges and tunnels are destroyed, there's no way out, and anything with a computer chip in it could be deadly. John Hawk has to escape the city to save his wife and his young son. Although day one deals with concepts that uh, might be considered science fiction, I wanted this to be very much a present day thriller. I wanted it to feel very immediate, very real. This sort of thing can happen. It could happen today, tomorrow, very soon. Artificial intelligence is all around us right now. Um, it's in the cars we drive, uh, navigation systems, um, the recommended for you lists, uh, your internet surfing. A truly creative AI, a one that thinks um, and reasons like a human, is much closer than most people think. The researchers that I spoke to, many of them said the same thing. An artificial intelligence that can learn and improve itself may well decide that human beings are expendable. I wanted to write a very fast-paced thriller, but I, I hope that day one is more than that. Um, to me, uh, the best stories, the best books are about character. This is ultimately about um, you know, a man fighting to save his family. I mean, that's, you know, that's the real core of the book, and that's, like the, I think, the universal appeal. Hawk is a man who's driven to get at the truth. He's a rule breaker, he, uh, he has a problem with authority, he's haunted by the mistakes he's made in his past, he, he, wants, to, he wants to make things right, um, and he's after the story that he thinks will turn his life around. Day One will appeal to fans of thrillers, mystery, science fiction, suspense, even horror, but I think there's a universal appeal to the idea of one person struggling against incredible odds to save his family.